Tick Fever, a Be Kind to Pets veterinary educational video sponsored by Topayo Vets. Singapore. In our increasingly urbanised community with no countryside, high-rise living accounts for up to 90% of Singaporean homes. This will mean that large dog breeds are uncommon in Singapore as they are usually not allowed to be kept as pets in HDB estates. With minimal knowledge of large dog breeds, the public is generally wary of large dogs like the German Shepherd, especially when they are out for walks. Many are fearful of large dogs as they are afraid that they are very fierce. What more? A Pressa Canario, a large molossa type dog breed, a cross of the Bardino Majero, an extinct Spanish breed, and the English Mastiff originally bred for working livestock. It originated from Spain and can grow up to 66 cm and weigh up to 64 kg. Jenny here is a 9 year old female Pressa Canario who weighs 45 kg. Jenny lives in a big house where she can run and play in the yard. She does not leave the house for walks as she can only do so if she's leashed and muzzled. Jenny's owner does not like to muzzle her as he felt that it was restrictive. Her neighbour, an avid animal lover, houses over 30 stray dogs and some of them carry ticks. Ticks, like mites, are external parasites and carry multiple diseases that affect both human and animal alike. Little did he know that the ticks had already travelled over to Jenny and were already feeding off her. It wasn't until Jenny started to become lethargic and even started to have seizures that her owner realised that something was terribly wrong. Jenny was rushed to Topayo Vets immediately. Her gums were extremely pale, showing that she was anemic, meaning that she had a red blood cell deficiency. A blood test was then carried out to monitor her platelet and red blood cell count. A blood smear was also done to be screened under a microscope. The blood report conclusively diagnosed Jenny with Babesia gibsoni, also known as tick fever. 4th March 2014, a 9 year old presser called Jenny came to Topayo Vets today with fits. During consultation, it was noted that the dog's gums were pale, indicative of anemia. A blood test was taken, as shown here. These are the blood collected from the dog. And it was is used to see whether the platelet so and red blood will fall, which was indicative of them. It is then placed onto a slide and placed under a microscope to determine whether the dog really has babesiosis. Here is an image of the finished blood test. As seen, there are of various red blood of babesiosis. Those red blood cells that are extremely affected are those with echinocytes, which are thorny projections on the cell's membrane due to the rupturing of the membrane. As shown. The life cycle. March 4, 2014, Tuesday. This dog came in in the morning with fits. So it's a Prisa, female, 9 years old, very good condition I would say. According to the owner, I treated her some years ago for skin disease and she has never fallen sick. Now, my intern, Vanessa Lian, Vanessa Lian is quite artistic as you can see. Her drawing of this uh, life cycle of the ticks, babesiosis, it seems to be quite realistic as far as this dog is concerned. It looks quite like... But does it look like this dog? No. Now, the ticks beat this dog. Apparently, the neighbour has a lot of dogs. And the ticks must have been infected by those stray dogs housed in the na with the neighbour. So this is how this when another tick sucks the blood of an infected dog, it spreads the disease to the next dog it feeds on. This morning, the blood smear was taken and confirmed that she had epistiosis. You can see the normal 
Beta cell is rounded. Beta is the one is infected with Babesia gypsonii have spikes. It's called echinocytes. ECH is echinocytes. And uh, in just this blood smear, you can see majority of the ripper cells have spikes, which means they are infected. Apparently, the platelet count is low as well. The dog was very pale this morning, and uh, and the blood test will, will show that uh, there is anemia and low. Despite the heavy financial expenses from the cost of the blood test, blood smear, as well as medication, Jenny's owner still went through with the treatment as he loved his dog too much. The treatment, Imidoc's injection is used, which the dosage would be 1 ml per 100 kg of body weight via subcutaneous injection. against babesiosis, so the treatment of babesiosis is about 0 0.7. This dog is about 45 to 50 kg. This is the second injection. The first injection was given yesterday. And as you can see, yesterday's the color was very white. I think it was snow white yesterday. But today I'm very surprised that the The treatment was extremely successful and Jenny has recovered completely. Very nice. Please, uh, okay, go ready.